Okay, it's birthday haul time now. Now, I've gotten other things more recently that I haven't hauled, but this is stuff that I specifically got on my birthday. It started out really well. There is a store called Treasure Hunt here in different parts of Ontario. The one closest to me is in Mississauga. They haven't had new toys in a long time. They get newer toys, it's really quite surprising, from Targets and Walmarts from the States. So it's stuff that we usually don't see here. It's usually really special things. So let me show you. Oh, these cappuccinis. Cappuccinis? We haven't had these yet. Now everything's 50% off, so don't look at that price and think that I paid too much for this. Yeah, these are one of the toys that were big at Toy Fair. I don't know what's with all of this crossing out business that's going on. I guess that's why these toys showed up here. This, I never did pick her up, but I thought for the $6, it was finally a price that I would pay. You know what? She might have been cheaper at the Mattel store and I didn't pick her up. Anyway, I have the other ones in the series and I didn't get a Barbie, so I thought I should probably get the Barbie. Again, look what they did with the marker. It's like FBI stuff. Also there, funny, in my last Endless Hair Kingdom review, I said I'm going to get the other Chelsea's, and there they are. I already have the other one in the series, so now I have the three Chelsea's. I'm very satisfied with that. I should probably do this review before Easter is over. They had these fashion packs. They crossed out Barbie and Mattel, and so it's coming off of my thumb. That ain't cool. Ew! Oh no! Now I'm dirty. Very bizarre. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> anyway, I got the four of these, which are good for all sizes. If you can see the check marks underneath the price, again, 50% off. You can see that these fit every single style. So I'm thinking they might fit the new Wonder Woman's. Kind of why I got them. I thought it would just be fun. The tennis one. This one's my favorite with the violin. I have to be careful of this black stuff. I'm gonna go wash this off. I got some of these Happy Places crates. So I actually got 10 of them. That I can see is coming out. So I'm gonna keep those in the bag. So 10 of these crates for $2 each. Then I got this hat, cause I didn't have a black one. And I'm super into black right now. $6. It was 40% off too. It was 10, so. And then I got this tank top. Like I need another pink tank top. And it was 40% off as well, so. Was cheap. And then I brought that home and then I went out again because that was so close I didn't even have to go anywhere. Then I went to the superstore and I found my last two ballerinas that I don't have. So these I will open. Yeah, I already reviewed those top three. I really like them too and I'm glad to get the other ones. I think they're cute. They were eight dollars. The only place that they've shown up is at the Superstore. They also had the Tea Party ones with the tea hats, the budget ones. No other store in Canada has had those. And then also at the Superstore, I found these. This is so strange. Sky and Chase the Knights came with the other guys in safari outfits. But the other four knights came with Sky and Chase in their safari outfits. It's so weird. I don't know why they did that. But anyway, I already did a review of Sky and Chase in the night uniforms. Now I have Rubble and Rocky and Marshall and Zuma. So now I have all six pups in their night uniforms. Both series, the Safari one and the night one, are called Mission Quest. I don't know if they mixed it up. You can see that they have safari hats and boots on. I don't know, maybe in the episode, some of them are dressed up as knights and some of them are dressed up in their safari and they mix and match. I don't know. Anyway, I have all of the safari ones and now I have all of the night ones. Again, the Superstore was the only store I've ever seen them at in Canada. And then at the Toys R Us, I found four of these. 
Now, I already have one. They were $3.50. I could have picked up all four. I decided just to get two. I asked people online. One person said that they wanted a shipping from Canada is very expensive though, so I don't know if they'd be still interested when they find out how much it's going to cost. I don't really care to keep this in box. Wookie Warrior suggested that I buy them all and put them each in different outfits, which is a good idea. Maybe I'll do that. It's one of the cooler Monster High, so I'm happy that I got it. Also at Toys R Us, I got this for $4. It's a Donald Mickey Mouse Club set. It's a really cute one. He's in his classic outfit, so it's a very good set. Also, pick these up for a friend. It's a very good price. It's missing the little accessory inside. I don't even know what that thing is. I don't think he will miss that. These are some of my favorite toys of all time, especially this blue guy. He is so cute. Night Ninja, one of my favorite toys of all time. And I stopped in the Dollar Tree. I usually avoid the Dollar Trees because it's mostly a lot of junk. The stuff is not as good as some of the things that I see that people get in the States, but I was very excited to see these. I think these are funny and hilarious. I went to another one after I found these. I wanted to get a Jesus and a Mary, of course, but no luck. I might have to check out some more. I think they're so funny. I once saw some biblical characters. They were really muscled up like He-Man. thought they were hilarious, but I didn't buy them because they didn't have the whole set. I think they had three or four, and I wanted all of them, so they were only $10, I think. It might be the same company. I'll look up BibleToys.com and see. I'm not a religious man. I just think Bible stuff is fun. Something else I got at the Dollar Tree are these fashions. I thought it would be funny to do these together and see which fashions are better. The ones from Dollar Tree or the official Barbie ones. These sets look very similar to some of the other clothes that we've seen on some of the Barbies. This outfit looks very familiar. I've planned on doing a crazy Barbie fashion show for a long time. I never did get around to it. I got some almonds at the dollar store. So I'd have something to eat tomorrow when all the stores are closed on Easter. And last but not least, at two different Walmarts, I picked up these two little cars. I think it's really funny what they did here. In the original packaging, only these two cars were made, but on the back of the boxes they have photoshopped in the police car and the tow truck. They're cute and I have the other two cars. They're only six each. I think they're cute. I really like the tow truck, but when I saw that it was a cop car too, I had to get that. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Birthday haul.